Hey guys, so today I'm going to be testing out Shop Miss A makeup for the second time. I'm giving it another try. If you saw my last testing Shop Miss A makeup, it kind of flopped a little bit. And I had a few products that I didn't use in that video, so I just thought that I would do this. There was a few comments that actually like wanted me to do this. I'm going to shout you out. Debbie D said peach please. Kenzie Moore said you should really do the peachy look also. Janty Lee said another look please. This one was good. Thank you to y'all three for telling me to do it. Honestly, I wouldn't have done it. If y'all didn't tell me to. I'm just gonna try the few products that either didn't work for me or I didn't get to try. The ones that didn't work for me, I'm going to try in a different way. If you want to see me testing Shop Miss A makeup, the peachy look, then just keep watching. Oh, and products that I'm not testing, I will still be doing a full face of Shop Miss A. I'm gonna start with my face because I actually have done this look. I've already filmed it. Technically, I'm not like trying these again. The look that ended up coming out didn't really look peachy. This eyeshadow actually isn't as peachy as I thought that it would be, which is like what the look was centered around. I built up like a dark brown in the crease. It looked really dark. I'm just gonna pair it with the blush and just build this up in the crease. I'm gonna start with the face. I'm actually going to use the OE Studio Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. I'm gonna do what I've been doing and not set my makeup. I haven't used this primer in so long. The only product that isn't Shop Miss A is the concealer and the mascara. I don't know if this is on the website anymore, but honestly, you can just get any stick concealer, any concealer that's darker. This is the Santi Super Blendable Concealer. I've been doing it with another product, but I just thought might as well try it today since I've been doing it like this. And then I just blend it out with a small stipple brush from e.l.f. This glowiness, I used to think that this looked like a Tin Man. This actually looks closer to my e.l.f. Glow Lotion. And I thought that it was super glowy whenever I first started. All the times that I said, there probably isn't any difference. This one just sets. Nard. The Wet Mild one is so glowy. So the concealer I'm using is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. And I'm just putting the concealer on top of my blemishes before I use the BB cream. This is the Studio Perfect BB cream. Love this stuff. I've actually been refilming like quite a bit of videos recently. I think it's because I'm actually inspired to do so many videos that I like have so many videos pre-filmed that I don't mind refilming it because it's not like I'm like on a deadline because I have so many pre-filmed which is great because like I'm inspired and I'm doing videos. At the beginning of last year I was like fried after like two weeks. I don't want to do that this year. And then I'm putting that concealer under my eyes. For blush I have been loving. This is the AOA Studio Hush Cream Sheer Blush in Cozy. So I just dunk it in, get quite a bit of product and then I just tap it on the cheeks. And then I kind of like blend it into my under eyes because I don't want there to be like a harsh line. So now I'm going to take this. I'm going to go over the powder highlight later. This is the Dewy Cream Highlighter. I'm going to set my under eyes. It's the only part of my face that I set just because I don't like worrying about them creasing. But I just focus it on the under eye. I think I'm just going to go straight in with this AOA Studio Perfect Blush. And this is in Wispy. I'm going to go in with this on a more dense brush but still kind of blendy. E128. Pack it on my brush. I'm going to make sure there's no creases. And then just kind of like... And it would be a little more sheer because it's a blush try and build this up. I am gonna like lay this down a bit as like a base just because maybe that will pull some of the more peachy tones out of it. I'm gonna just go in with the stain brush on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna continue building this color up. I'm gonna take E126. It's fluffy but it also will some density. I'm gonna swirl that in the blush and just kind of make sure everything is blended. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna go in with the velour eyeshadow in Express. So, so creamy. I feel like this will bring out the peachiness. I love how this turned. Oh my goodness, I love this. This is perfect. I really don't want to add the eyeliner now because this looks so fresh, but we gotta do it. We gotta do it. I'm just gonna drag what's left on the inner corner and then I'll go over it with a more bright color. I'm gonna take this also in the inner corner of my lower lash line. Now for the liner. If you didn't see my last video, I would definitely have it in the card. I tried this Starlet Liquid Eyeliner. It made a wing so easy, but it cracked and crumbled everywhere. I'm gonna try it in a different way today. This is like an easy way to incorporate color in your look. Obviously, like I already have color here, but this is how I always used to do it. I would put like a colored liner on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna load it up a little bit and then I'm gonna take this brush and just blend it out a little so there's not just like weird clumps. Now that I've blended it out, I'm gonna take a line and go like super close to my lash line and not 
blend it out. So that didn't like add too much of a difference to the eyes. It gave some dimension. This is the one in Paparazzi, by the way. But I really like the way it looks. I don't know how to like describe it. Now I'm gonna do the face. I was really enjoying this before I started using cream products, but this is the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Press Powder in Almond. And this is just like a really pretty natural color. Like when I first used it, I wasn't sure, but I really like it. But since I've been using the just cream products, I haven't been using it, but it's still really not true. I never go over like my cream products with like powder products but I think I'm gonna do that today. I think I'm just gonna leave the blush as is but I feel like it might look kind of like a strip. Blend it in with it. I'm just gonna take the same brush and just swirl it in there like nice and light and just kind of like fluff it on there. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna use the Yoga Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter Star Gauge Star Blinding. Normally I will spray my face before but since this is sticky I should have to... There's already enough highlight on the center of my face, but... To kind of stick with the peachy theme, this is not from Shop My Save. I was like, I'm not going to get the orange one. My friend told me, like, we went to Ulta, we just smelled it, and oh my goodness, oh, it does not smell like oranges at all. Aloe, sage, and orange blossom. I just thought it would smell like oranges. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, obviously, because I have it. It smells like honeysuckles to me. And then we're going to do the brows. I'm just going to use my regular LA Girl Shady Sun brow pencil. The AOA Studio brow pencil is way too warm for me. That's the brows. And now all I need to do is mascara and lips. For the lips, I'm going to use this AOA Studio Lip Pop in Roll Model. And it's this like super peachy color. We'll see if this is like too peachy. At first, you really taste it. Chemically taste, you smell it, everything. But after it sets, it kind of goes away. And I can leave it on because these are so pretty. My lid kind of looks glossy right now. My whole face is like glossy. These glosses aren't that glossy. They're kind of just like the lip balm. It kind of just looks like I applied like a creamy lipstick. I'm gonna apply mascara. The thing that's gonna bring this together, I know I'm using so many more products than I thought. That's not Shop and Say, but it's fine. Colored Pop Mr. Bean. It's a very warm brown. I'm gonna go in with the dewy cream highlighter in the inner corner as a base, and then I'll take the powder one on top. And there we go. Look at that. Like, it looks glossy. Yeah, I will say it's creasing, but like, that is like magical. It's not creasing as much as an eye gloss would. Just saying that. I'm really liking this monochromatic kind of look. I feel like I do want some more blush. I feel like there's not enough blush to tie it in. There we go. I feel like that just added life to my face. Here is the finished look. I really love it. This is so much better than the last one because I don't have purple liner crumbling all over my face. Here's my skin. It's not like full coverage and I don't mind that. Like I like having my skin shine through. So yeah, this is the peachy look. Is there any other way that you want me to use any of these products? Is there any other looks you want me to do with these Shamsay products? Just tell me down below what looks, what videos, anything you want me to do. So yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.